Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Blasian Wellness Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Coach Tanika, and as always, I'm joined by my very best friend and the whole wide world, Sex Coach Mary. Hey, man. Mary, are you paying attention? Not paying attention today, Mary? Hi. And you like him, Mary? <laughs> I'm here. Well, you didn't say it quite with enthusiasm. Is that how you talk you to your audience? <laughs> no, I think I froze for a second. Wow. I think that's what was happening. I was about to say, you usually the happy one. I think we're having one. some technical difficulties. By we, she mean her. <laughs> well, we just going to go along oh, and hopefully no, Mary no. will then catch up with us. We also have with us today a very special guest. Oh my goodness, I love this woman, Miss Akila Logan. Girls and guys, let me tell you about Akila, okay? She's an independent filmmaker that completed her first feature film, The Blue Labyrinth, Ooh. where she wrote, directed, and she starred in. She's also a published author with three monologue books for actors. She's been in the arts literally all her life, singing, dancing, writing. She's a makeup artist by trade, and her goal is to tell stories about Black people that steer clear of stereotypes. She believes that Black people's stories are vast, and we, as Blacks, being that I'm one of them, should be the ones in the forefront telling them. And I love, love that. I love that she tells stories that, that are absent of the stereotypes. Yeah. And her movie, I have watched it. I love it. You guys know I do not watch movies too much, if at all. And when I first read about Akila. I said, oh God, I'm going to have to watch a movie, Lord. No. The way I feel about movies is the way Mary feels about books. And anybody who knows Mary knows. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be sorry. That's who you are. So it's okay. But I'm telling you. It. And literally at the end of the movie, I called Akila and I was like, what? what like, what, what the fuck? How, what, how? And like, like what? No, 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 no. See, you have to tell me something because it shouldn't end it like that. Like, what's going on? I wanted so much. More. I just wanted more. I was just so into it. So, Akila. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> you know, you have my blood pressure for like seven o'clock. I ain't going to lie. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, job well done. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole point. Like, I wanted people to be, like, ridiculously mad at me, like. Oh, oh, you know I was, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know I was. It, it was so, I mean, it was so good. It was so in, engaging. Yeah. And what I loved about it, well, it was just so many things. And I can't even say some of the things because I want y'all to go out and see the movie and then maybe we'll come back and have a healer on and then we can really talk about it because it all the stories that are in, you know incorporated in the movie is just they're all different they're all relatable yeah so akila how did you even come up with this with the concept what you just woke up one day and was like yeah i'm tired of looking at crap on tv i'm, I'm just gonna make me a movie <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no um i mean i feel like when it comes to like stories i've always kind of had that kind of thought process like oh my god it's always like the same thing same thing and it's, you kind of get bored of tv so um when i had a monologue i had a monologue showcase and then it turned into a play and even in just in those things i wanted something to be different like if everyone's going right, I want to go left. Like I want to be completely different from everyone else. And not necessarily saying that their stuff isn't great. It's just, if we've seen that already, let's try something different. And a lot of times when I would have questions about, you know, different shows, it kind of like came out in my writing. Like, well, why is this person that way? Well, let's do, let's try this. And that's kind of how it happened. 
Wow. How long did it take you? Forever. From like, um, <laughs> did you say forever? <laughs> well, like, you know what? Because it, it felt like a never-ending process. It felt like the never-ending story. And I was just like, oh my God, when is this over? And not like, well, in a bad way, but in a good way, because I had never directed a movie in my life. So I was just like getting on the job training right at that moment. And no, being in production, you know, across the board, I had a good idea. But um, when it came to writing it and kind of constantly changing it on the on the go, directing on the go, everything was literally on the go. So I didn't really have a chance to kind of sit down and plan, this is how it's going to be. And voila, it was, okay, this is what it is and go. This is what it is and go. So I just faked it till I made it at this point. Wow. I love it. I love it too. You can't tell that you faked it. Not not in the movie anyway. You really can't. Not you even know, in the I, website, it's so like, it's like super, I mean, the only word I could come up with is professional, like, yeah. I mean, like up there with all mm -hmm. the other yeah. movies. I mean, shout out to my, like, she's like my baby sister, mm -hmm. uh, Ebony. She's, she has her own company when it comes to like media and like websites uh -huh. and everything. So I said, look, um, I don't got time to worry about this. You know who I am, you know what I want. And we kind of talked about it a little bit. And uh -huh. because she she knows me, like, it's kind of like a double-digit kind of friendship. So uh -huh. she knows the kind of person that I am. She knows how anal-retentive I am. Like, she knows how much of a perfectionist I am. And, you know, we just kept going at it and going at it. And I honestly let her just go for broke. And whatever she did, we capitalized on that and made it bigger and made it better. So, yeah, I, I feel like anything that I do or anything that, I put out, I have to make sure that it's to the best of my ability. So awesome. there aren't any problems or issues. It's like it's Aquila's name on it. So let's make sure you know, I have seven, if that makes any sense. So mm -hmm. it makes a lot of sense. And the the people that you chose, you know, to play their roles, mm -hmm. you couldn't have picked a better cast. I mean, everybody just play their part like for a minute I think I even you know said to you you and your you know your husband mm -hmm. in the movie because God said I mentioned she also like acted in the movie too God talk about the bomb yeah she mm -hmm. is um <laughs> and the attraction was like so great like Mayor, I was like is that your boyfriend you know, because it was just, uh, no. she's like, no, <laughs> but it was, it was so there. Like, it, it's nothing like when you watch something and you forget that yeah. you are watching a movie. Yeah. And that's what it, that's what I felt like. The things that your characters were going through, the things that, you know, he was going through with everything that was going on. It, it was just it was so relatable. And again, what I loved about it was the same feeling I got growing up watching the Cosby show, meaning I'm looking at black families mm -hmm. that are educated, yeah. that aren't speaking, you know, all of this slang nonsense mm -hmm. that, yeah, they get, they get upset. They handle it, yeah. you know, that's what I felt when I watched your yeah. movie. And for that, I have to thank you because I don't see a lot of that. Yeah. I just don't see a lot of that. So, Mayor, you really have to, you got to watch it. I'm going to watch it. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, don't do that to Mary. Don't do that. I, she know I'm going to do it. She I'm know, yeah. It. She, she, I, I asked her, I go, tell me a little bit about it. She's like, nope. <laughs> I didn't tell her. I'm not nothing. even gonna lie. I couldn't even pronounce the last word. Last you know word. Man, I was tripping. I was like, listen, I was like, don't ask me to say the name, all right? I said, because I can't even say the last word. And I was practicing it like mm -hmm. right before we we uh we went on with you. And I was like, ah, forget it. <laughs> I was like, I feel too stupid. I was like, you just say it. <laughs> I don't know, man. Everyone is like the the what? 
the who? And I'm like, <laughs> See, I'm good with the lady, and then the rest of it. <laughs> it's almost like the lady. Huh? But I'm going to sit down really like, what is this? Like, you know, because I didn't want to be. I didn't want to be shady and like have like the normal black title if that makes any sense. Yeah. I don't uh -huh. that, that, that that might that might sound rude, <laughs> but it's not intended to. Like I wanted it to sound like a production, <laughs> like uh, oh, what's this? And I think the fact that almost eighty five percent of people can't pronounce the last word, it kind of right. like so good. So that now I, I don't feel so stupid. Thank you. No, I had to even, like I had to like sound it out whenever I wrote it. I was like, all right, labyrinth. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Fortunate for me, I, I read a lot, and yeah. as a kid, you know, I re read a lot of books that you know had labyrinths in them, and so yeah. I was like, oh, like so I thought your title was pretty cool and it actually I in labyrinth so I mean I should know what it is <laughs> just saying <laughs> I think it was kind of the perfect word too yeah for what was going on the things in your movie it, it it's the perfect word for it and I, I just I love the title so, so is there like going to be like a, a, a continuation Oh, most definitely. Um, I'm actually working on a short film now that's kind of like a um, a bridge between the first movie and the second movie. So you kind of got it because I mean, in between the two stories or two movies, it's about like two years. So a lot can happen in two years. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like you can't do one movie as like the initial or original and then fast forward two years. It's like, so what happened in those two years? So because the characters have lives, it's really important to kind of like a little, a little piece of what happened within those two years so that you can understand why they're the way they are in the second movie. Mm. You know, I can't wait for that one to come out. She already know. I can't People wait. People be so mad. Like, <laughs> I'll be like, really? Again? Again? You know, I'm glad you kind of, you, you prepped me a little bit. So... I already know. <laughs> I had because she called me so mad, like really that's mad. Really? Yeah, really? I was like, that's 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 how it like ended though, for real. It it was so funny though, Mary, because you know I'm watching it and I'm all into it, so I'm not looking at the time. So I don't know that I'm at the end of the movie because that's how much I'm actually into it. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then all of a sudden, it's a good part. It's all dramatic things going on. Then that shit said the end. I was like, what the fuck? She mean the end? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you had that same reaction with a few other people? Yeah. I thought you had said that, that people were kind of upset that it ended the way it did. Like, yeah. you kind of mm. leave them hanging. But most really good movies do that. Yeah, and like, I wanted people to be mad at for more. Yeah, like I wanted people to be mad at me. Like, are you serious? Like, that's how you that's how you end it? And it's like, yes, that's how I end it because now you're mm. mad at me, but you want to see more though. So you're right. Yeah. I did my job. <laughs> you're right. You did your job too damn good because I was eating. <laughs> <laughs> like, I loved it. Tell me more. And I was like, I was just like, uh, and I'm like, come on. I'm like, please, I'm gonna tell nobody I swear to God I want that nobody just <laughs> Oh my she had me like a crackhead. <laughs> this is what I get, y'all. This is what I get. This exactly. Is... What do you think was like really your biggest job. challenge? Um, editing. Mm. Mm. That was my biggest challenge because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I want to say the most editing I have ever done was like taking a, a still photo and making it move for like 15 seconds. And that was it. Mm -hmm. That's my whole editing, like education experience and everything. And mm -hmm. when I had to wind up editing my movie, I was just like, okay, um, you too. Uh, yeah, all right, let's, um, let's figure this out. I don't know what I'm doing, but okay, let's get this together. And 
it took me like an entire like three weeks to like get like a first draft and then um just kind of like build upon that color corrected color grades I, I didn't know what I was doing on that it just kind of like came mm -hmm. and um thank god for real because I was like I was I wasn't in the right mind frame to give anybody else my stuff at that point you know mm. I just want to say you know what I have a deadline to make and I'm not trusting anybody else with my stuff right now so I'm going to do it myself and funny thing is completing it I actually really love editing now so yeah so you had somebody I guess shoot while you guys were so it's really like on TV, someone is, is directing, I guess, that would be, no, that's not directing. That's, no, that was me. Was directing? No, she was directing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So how were you in the movie and shooting at the same time? Ma'am. Like Am I frozen? No, it was me. Oh. <laughs> I was like, shit, she can hear me? <laughs> well, I had somebody um, shooting it for me, but... I was kind of directing on on scene and then off. And then I had a couple of um, actors who kind of wanted to get into directing. I had them direct um, one or two of my scenes so I, they can be like that second you know, pair of eyes that I needed. So mm -hmm, I did everything. And then you just took all this and edited it together and made your movie. Mm -hmm. she, made it, she makes it sound so easy. That's a shit. When you watch the movie, you hear about all this, all the parts she was playing. You know, acting, directing, writing, doing the music score, like everything. You wouldn't. <laughs> that person. Her face is like, what in the world? <laughs> yeah, hard. Like, I don't, I don't know. Well, I mean, I think it's when you, when you finally realize stuff that you're doing and you enjoy it um after the initial I don't know what I'm doing and crying spells that you do for the first three weeks um mm -hmm. it gets to the point that it becomes more of your passion and it doesn't really feel like work you know what I mean it feels like you're creating and I think that's why I like editing so much because I was creating something and I was making it my own so I didn't have anybody telling me I can't do this or I can't do that it was I did it and I made this color that way I made that color that way because I wanted to I wanted it to be creatively myself and mm -hmm. no one else and because I'm anal retentive and a control freak that just helped it on top of that so yeah <laughs> it was even the trailer like even when I saw the trailer I was like damn this shit's really good like you you see how like some low budget movie you mm -hmm. could tell that shit was made cheap yeah. You know, the, the acting stuff and like even the lighting is kind of off. And it's like, they took that shit with their phone or something. Yeah. That's so exactly even what the I'm trailer, when I when I saw the trailer, I was like, damn, this shit all like professional and shit. Like it's just go to the movie theater. Like I swear, like I would think it would it belongs like in a theater. Like, you know, well, the commercials that they play. Yeah, that's what I wanted it to look like. I just, I just didn't believe just because it's low budget, it shouldn't look low budget. And oh well, it didn't. If it does, there's a problem. You know what I mean? Like we're all low budget trying to get, you know, a high budget. Okay. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> it doesn't make sense for us to look low budget and expect people to be like, yeah, let's throw you some money. No, because they don't, <laughs> they can't trust you with that because your stuff looks crazy. So it was, it was, you know, really important to me that everything looked as professional and as top-notch as I could so mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. well you succeeded and the scenery you know even the the house that your character lived in I just like want to live there you know the the ceilings the I, I was like oh my goodness you you shot the film in Brooklyn yeah it was really important to me honestly to make sure that every piece of scenery because I had to do location scouting too. Thank you, Pure Space, good looking out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I had to really make sure that all of the spaces that we used were indicative to the characters so it made sense. So it wasn't just, oh, we're just going to stick ourselves in this, you know, house or stick ourselves in this, you know, office or whatever just because we need one. Like it has to look like we would actually live there. It has to look like, you know, 
Nikki was in like a plush looking kind of like, you know what I mean? Like it had to look like, you know, not this generic apartment, but like, oh, these people actually live here. And that's why everything wasn't just perfect. You had stuff laying around because it, we are not all like picture perfect in our house. We all know that. Yeah, you're right. So. I know. I'll look behind you. But yeah, I <laughs> Take my clothes off my bed earlier today. So it was like, I just needed to make sure that everything looked um, realistic you know, just to kind of sell it. So, yeah. yeah. So if you could give uh, one piece of advice to someone out there that is looking to, you know, to direct a movie, um, <laughs> what would be like your best advice to this person? Um, create your own story. Make sure mm. the story that you tell is your story. Because the last thing you want anyone to do is say, this reminds me of, or I remember this from someone else's movie. So, mm. yeah. And then, mm. I'm very big on that. Like, like I told you guys before, I didn't watch TV a lot when I first, you know, wrote it. And when I was even, like, shooting it, because I wanted everything to be yeah. specifically Aquila. You know, I didn't, want, right. I didn't want it to be reminiscent of anyone now I will tell you one of my shots is reminiscent of Spike because I love him and it was by accident and I was like okay well at least y'all know that you know he's one of my favorite directors but the storyline has it's on me so that's probably what I would say the most is to make sure you direct and create your own story and it's authentically you mm. How did you know the people that you chose for your cast? Did you already know them from working with them previously? Uh, I want to say uh, Nikki or Raina. She plays Nikki Vega. She was with mm -hmm. me since um, my monologue showcase. And she kind of just came with me with all of the other things I was doing. Um, the bartender Black, he came from the play which turned into a movie and he came through. Um, I want to say everybody else came through like auditioning. Wow. I mean, they were just awesome. And all black cast. And I'm telling you, and I told you this earlier, one of the characters that I loved and, and kind of hated at the same time, she was just so cute, but she had a little scandalous. <laughs> um, what that? <laughs> So I would. She's such a sweet person. Like she's so. I'm gonna give a shout out to Lisa because she played her part, <laughs> and she is so like she's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, yeah. she's just a gorgeous she's girl, and she played that role, and <laughs> she invoked all the emotions that she was supposed to, you know, invoke. So shout out to well, shout out to all the cast, but you, Lisa, you keep doing your thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my that was my sister, girl. <laughs> well, the funny thing about it is she's, you know, she was telling me, you know, before, like, Akila, I'm always, like, typecast with that kind of person. And I'm like... Ooh. She does it so well. Like, she, she does it so well. You can't help it. I, I mean, yeah, you just... Uh, uh, yeah. You, you, she just does it so well. So, Mary, once you really, you know, look at the movie like your homework was, and you <laughs> Lisa, then you'll know what we're talking about. Well, I get off the work tomorrow early. I am watching it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to watch it because now you guys are making me jealous because now the two of you know what it is. And I, like, you know, I still don't know and I still can't Babe. pronounce the last word. But that's all right. <laughs> we going to practice later, Mary. We're going to practice later. I'm going to be calling it the Blue Labia. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, oh, yeah, my gosh. On practice, but, yeah, you're going to see what we mean. You're, you're, she's just the type, because she's already cute. So it's just mm -hmm. like, oh, And then she got that kind of, the wholesome, like, cuteness yeah. to her. Like, oh. Mm -hmm. And then what she doing, what she doing, you're like, what? Uh, uh, it's uh, like, uh -oh. a, what's going on? What? So sweet face. Well, oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> so she, she has she, like a really, she has like a really like homey, like comfortable feeling about her where it's like, yeah. I don't want to, I should like you, but I should. But I know you, you up to something. Yeah. <laughs> up to yeah. Something. 
But so even she, like in her character, she has like a, a backstory and a story that should be told too. Because I mean, even though when you have um, women out there who who try to home wreck, it's, there's a reason why they're like that. It's not just, I just woke up today and I'm just going to mess with somebody's marriage. Like they have, mm-hmm. they have stuff in their, in their past that have made them, you know, that kind of person. So I think we need to d- dive into what made her that way. So you can even, even you don't like her, you understand her. And I think that's what I wanted to always portray or help people understand in my work you make whatever kind of emotion you evoke from these characters I want at one point for you to kind of question do I like them or do I not really like them you know because it's easy just to be like I don't like this person and keep it moving but when you understand why they're like that you kind of start to feel sorry for them or like Mm -hmm. do I like her now like are you serious (laughs) so like I want people to kind of get messed up in their brain you know that's yeah no you succeeded you succeeded so you know you succeeded i will say it again how much i love the movie and it was just mm. and i think everybody should watch it you know i don't care what race you are i don't care what gender you are everybody should watch it because again for me black people are always seen in a certain light and then you bring a movie like this and you'll be like uh, like certain people who always have their stereotypical views about black people will look at your movie and be like oh 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 they got the same issues we have oh not all of them are like this not all of them are like that you know and that's what I love so you know to get your message out and to get your movie out i'm gonna run a little contest and i'm not gonna say what it is yet because i don't really know what it is yet (laughs) because i'm gonna put mary to work and mary's gonna think about what the contest is gonna be but (laughs) 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 and the giveaway is going to be your movie so we're gonna give away your movie to five people that win this contest and we because we have to start getting this movie out and getting it around because you're going to have the short story and then i'm already prepared that i'm going to be mad for that and then it's going to be the movie and then you're like this is the start of a whole like legacy of you know, of films. And so I want to at least make sure five people get it because when they start talking about it and then it'll go to other people and then we can, we can, you know, spread the word because social media can only do but so much and you're busy. So, you know, I can't expect you to be marketing manager too, because that's a full-time job. So Mary, did you hear that? You might have to we have to we, me, you. <laughs> well, the funny part about it is like this is just like the first group of people. You know what I mean? So yeah. there's like two other shows that are connected to this that kind of mm-hmm. have their own storyline, but everyone is kind of connected in some type of way, which is why the Blue Labyrinth is such like a big title for me so it's just you know I wanted to create a community of black people who are educated and Mm -hmm. have issues like everyone else but handle them very differently um yeah like that's that was my main concern you know everyone like the group of kids um or adults I mean they're not kids they all Mm -hmm. went to college together you know, even mm. if, even in the other two shows, they went mm. to college together. But you know how some have different majors. So like, this might be a major over here. That might be their major over there. And this is down here. So it's like, there's this college brought all of them together, but they intertwine, but went their separate ways. So mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. like a like a Chicago Med PD type thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. A, black I like Chicago Chicago yes. a black one yes <laughs> i love it. i do so you know i can't even keep talking about it without giving stuff away 
So he's so mad. I'm, I'm still <laughs> feel a little bit. I'll be I'll be texting you later. Like really though, <laughs> really did though. You I gotta, short, did you finish that short story yet? Did Did you finish that, it? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. How's that? When did you say I went to? Hmm. All right. It's it's November first at twelve oh one. Is it done? <laughs> like Tamika, I'm still editing, but it's done though, right? But it but it's done. So what do you have a date, a release date for that? Um, no. Um, she don't want. She don't want to say because she knows what to call her. <laughs> <laughs> call me. A like, tentative what? Roundabout <laughs> when? Um, hopefully. End of November, beginning of December. <laughs> Look at her face. She is like, what you mean? Oh, okay, so by the end of this year. Okay, well, yeah, okay. by the, at least by yeah, the end of this it's year. Almost, it's almost October. Next year. Year is already October. Well, yeah, I, ha I have to at least um, have the short story out by the end of this year because I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I want to start working on um, the next film. So I kind of got to... Oh, exciting. That is exciting. So I won't even ask when that's going to be, you know, I'm, I'm just going to not even ask about that. I'll just be texting you after I watch the short story and be like, okay, when, when? Oh, it'll definitely be um, end of next year. It'll definitely be end of next year. Really? Ah, she said the end of next year. Oh, she going to make me wait. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless, unless you have some uh, Hollywood or Black Ooh, entertainment. Yeah. We know I have to do my umla. She need money. On my stuff. We she need money. She need a fund it. Let's go. Watch the movie. <laughs> because I mean, I mean, unfortunately, it's still like you know, Corona out here. So yeah, I still have to like audition just a couple of more people to kind of mm -hmm. like. There's there's more um, uh, characters that are in the actual second movie that I have to kind of cast now. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's going to take a little bit of time. And then trying to, I already have like specific locations in my head already, but trying to actually find them is another different thing. And then making sure that we're not, you know, locked down next year. Exactly. Um, so it's like, I have to look at like all of that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I can, I don't want to say 2022 because she might curse me out, but. Um, yeah, <laughs> I might just be like, end. She said 2022. <laughs> So I feel like I feel like the end of next year would probably mm -hmm. be like if everything goes well, um, it could probably come out end of next year, twenty twenty one, or possibly just like this one came out February twenty twenty two. Okay, you know, so. I know your creativity and you're great, and you need time to get things perfect because you are a perfectionist. So I get that and understand that, and I know it's gonna wow me just like this. So, you know, I can I can wait, you know. I ain't got no choice, but you know, I'm just saying. Because <laughs> I already know that it's gonna be something that I'm not even expecting. Like, so I don't even wanna think about where you gonna go because it's just whew. I mean just think about it, you know, fun. people in their early yeah. 30s, late twenties, they're trying to figure out life as mm -hmm. best as an adult as they can with the responsibilities that they have. So they're trying to figure it out. So shit, I'm still trying to figure it out. It, and I'm in my forties. And I'm trying to figure it out. Well, so how old are you? Forty one. Did she tell us how old she was last time? I thought she was in her 20s. I know. No. I, I, I mean, wasn't mature at that time. <laughs> wow. Well, you know what? That's true. That's true. We may not Are have you to. You're in your 40s? What the yeah. hell? Yeah. Oh, she looked good. She looked good creating movies. Uh, yeah, I thought she was in her 20s. I was like, oh, it's good to be young. <laughs> see? See? Mm -hmm. she I mean, that's what I was saying. I thought she was like college age. I'm like, damn, young. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. We're the same. We're around the same age. I'm 40 uh, years old. Mm -hmm. Yep. No excuse at any age, and you're doing your thing. So and I'm mean, actually just started. So I mean, mm -hmm. just and that's a, that's hard. That's even hard to believe too, because it just looks like you've been doing it for yeah, exactly. Forever. Well, yeah, I watch a lot of TV. TV so I watch a lot of TV. Like <laughs> I watch a lot of movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 
Black TV, they can't do what you do. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I watch a lot of movies, so it's like that they're embedded in my brain. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So mm-hmm. I take what I look look at, I take what I'm inspired by, and I make my own for it. So, I mean, it doesn't come without sleepless nights, but... Just like all like great me. things. That's all great she's things. Still nice and she's still young. <laughs> young looking. It's concealer. Hmm. It's because <laughs> <laughs> shit, I need you to do my makeup. Me too. Need some concealer so I can look yeah, like I'm not. <laughs> I only because literally I did this like around eight o'clock, seven forty five, like all right, I don't want to look like a crazy person on here because <laughs> I'm liable. I'm really like I have like, my best friend had to tell me like um do Make that. Make sure you correct. Yeah, so I just like okay, you're right. So I won't get cursed out. That's right, because she will get you. Your best yeah. friend. I'm like she will get you. Because I, so. I tell her every time you can at least go out with some mascara on. You don't come on now. So if she knew that I came on with a bare face, she would talk about me to my face. So <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I wanted to deal with today. Yes, yes. Nothing like making your best friend upset. <laughs> oh, have mercy. Oh, well, Akila, I want to thank you so much for your time. You thank are you. wonderful. You are awesome. And the movie was great. And you guys have to get it. There will be a link to this podcast with the link to the movie that you all can purchase. And again, we will be giving away five to five very special people when Mary comes up with a contest. (laughs) So, (laughs) because you all know that's not my strength, that is her strength. So why would I try to do something that she's clearly better at? So, so funny. that's what we're going to do. And maybe we will announce what the contest is on our Facebook Live and, you know, bring it to the community that way since Mary's been dying to do that. I think this would be the perfect opportunity. Yeah. So, yay. So go out, get the movie. Hopefully, Akila will come back on. Um, and we can really talk about it so I can get into some of those characters. And I promise. I think she's trying I'm, to tell you Mary to watch the movie. She's trying to just say watch the movie so we can talk about it. So exactly. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk. I, I mean I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> I promise. As I long as I get what I need tonight, so that's out of the way, I'm gonna watch that tomorrow. Like she's pretty much telling you, like I need you to watch so we can talk about it together because so more than so. Yes, I promise. I promise. <laughs> I swear on the D. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. She done swore on a D, y'all. Y'all heard it here, so. Oh, shit, I forgot what she was saying. Yeah, we not gonna edit that for it. Y'all all heard it. Y'all all heard it. So by the time this airs, it will be not, it'll be probably, uh, let me see, because I'm gonna have to look in here, because we gonna It'll be October back. something. It will be October 7th. So on October 7th, I'm going to go on Facebook and on Instagram and let y'all know what happened. Did you, did you watch the movie? We will see. I swear I will. I already told you. If I, if I swear on the D, you know what's happening. She's, I, see, see, that's I'm not, I, I can't swear to that. No. <laughs> that's, that's how she knows I'm serious and I'm mm-hmm. going to do it because she knows I take that shit very seriously. Yeah. <laughs> More seriously than her podcast <laughs> responsibilities. Yes. That is not true. <laughs> yes. Because if I would have said you're not getting any D until you watch the movie, it would have been watched already. You're like, oh, wait, word? Hold on a second. Give okay. me an hour and 20 minutes. I got you. <laughs> exactly. She'd be so, like, let's get this in. <laughs> so, Akila, thank you. If you need anything at any time, you know, you're my, you're, you're our friend, you're one of our sisters, so just, and I'm going to check in with you to see how you are, not to talk about it. <laughs> No, this is definitely, she's going to call me to ask me, am I done? She can try to <laughs> me if she wants to. 
I ain't stupid. She I, I uh, sure am. I'm be like, um, I know you said the end of the year. Okay. Uh, how far are we? <laughs> like we, like we doing it. Right. How far are she you? She a part of it. She a part of it. So what's so, all right, so cool. I got you. What you can do, um, go on my Instagram at, uh, what is it called? Uh, Melting Boost. <laughs> oh, no, she didn't. What is it called? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is it called, Akila? <laughs> uh, don't judge me. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but you can go to melted blue studios and you'll get like updates Cause, like when whenever we shoot like we put up like cute little like photos or like lives or whatever so mm-hmm. you'll be able to go from there so even though she's gonna call me anyway but oh least... wait what is it mountain blue studio no melted Melted. Oh, like, melted. Yeah. You know I'm hard of hearing. Hold on. At <laughs> Melted. She is. Blue. Deaf so. Studio. That's so funny. Okay, and that's on Instagram, right? Mm-hmm. It's all of you that. Have Facebook um, or no? Same thing. Same thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just make it easier. Let's yeah. make it easier. Right. So I can. Your, your link's on there. Yeah. So I can stalk that before I call you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if she stalked my Instagram while she calling me. Like, so sis, on her other phone. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, so like, sis, I see you on Instagram. Sis. I see y'all uh, on, I see y'all shooting. So you, y'all done yet? Like, y'all done? I said, you know? It'll be like, what, Lisa there? Let me speak to Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw a show called Bigger on BET. I've been like, yo. Mm-hmm. yo. I don't have BET. I don't. I have like BET Plus because old shows like Martin is on there, but like, mm. um, and I try. I try to patron. I try. It it fails at times. Yes, that is who I am. All right. So you'll see. I'll be following. Oh, I just okay. The kinky bottle. Oh, you you got your own. You got your own thing. So I'm gonna follow you too. I think that's you. Yeah. Follow Officially, you. Logan. Yeah. 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 That's right, we gonna all follow her, especially my crazy show. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm gonna, her, I'm gonna see her online and I'm gonna answer your phone call like, yes, Tamika, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm not done yet. I just got finished shooting today. I we guess. Started. I was just checking in on you, just making sure you were okay. <laughs> Every time you see a live. So, y'all finished, yes, sis? Y'all, y'all. What, is it coming out? Is it coming oh, out? Is really? <laughs> <laughs> like, I am. Is really? I can't. I am. <laughs> I ain't even going live. I, I am ready. I when I came in the house, I was like, man. I was telling my husband. I said, huh, Akila. I said that movie. We gonna have to watch it together. He was like, oh, it must have been good. I said, yeah, it was good. He goes, oh, okay. He was like, oh, and I showed them your, your biopic. I said, so she cute? Said, yeah, she's, she's a cute woman. I said, low girl, she's a cute woman. He goes, you know, she, she just has the youngness to her that, you know, she looks like she can be a Lika's friend, which is our daughter. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, she, she does. But no, she's, she's you know, she's um, older than that. <laughs> I'm like grown, like you're grown, you're grown. Really grown. You're real grown. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. You are yeah. real grown. All right, y'all. So thank you again. And guys, we love you. We are so happy that you are here with us. We're gonna put Mary to work. You're gonna see her on these lives. And every time I say that her face looks down and I love it. I love putting her on blast. <laughs> I hate when she does it. She hates um, it, but I gotta get it out of her comfort zone. And this is the mm-hmm. only thing because y'all don't see when we're not on here. She's like, "Yeah, we should be do. We should do this. We should do that. Okay, we could do it." And then I hear crickets. So now, <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, now it's time. So yeah, anything else? I'll be you ready. Want? You nope. be I'll be ready for the live. I'll have a contest ready. After I, you know, have my meeting tonight, I will have the contest ready. Good, <laughs> y'all. Y'all heard it now. By the time this air, you ain't hear nothing about no contest. Y'all know. Y'all already know. <laughs> 
Something happened. Something happened with the D. She ain't feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> Something <done> happened. <laughs> and now I got to pay for it. <laughs> so oh, gosh. Now I done stole tequila on my Instagram. So that's cool. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I appreciate it. I no, seriously. Thank you, Akila. You are no, wonderful. And it's been a pleasure of ours. And it really, if you need anything, you just give me a call. If somebody not talking, you want me to hurry up the pro- Got you. I got your back. <laughs> got your back, girl. <laughs> oh, by the way, I took a couple of screenshots to put on my Instagram. So just let y'all know y'all gonna be on there. Just- oh, yay! <gasps> That's why I heard some flickering. <laughs> I was like... What is that noise? I was like, shit, I'm deaf. What is that noise? I wasn't talking to her, she don't hear nothing. The flicker she is. <laughs> I heard that. I don't know what it is, but I heard that. I was like, yo, am I hearing shit? I was like, what the fuck? Because sometimes I'll hear stuff, you know, or I'll run to my husband. I'm like, yeah. And he goes, what? And I was like, you called me? He's like, I didn't say a fucking word. I was like, are you serious? Oh. Or I'll run up to my kids and I'm like yes what happened they're like I didn't say nothing and I was like no I heard someone say mom <laughs> that is hilarious that's that go side y'all so look out for that and we love you and woo-hoo, love you. Yeah, thank you. Woo-hoo. Thank you. bye bye <laughs> bye <laughs>